Hello students, in the previous video lecture, we have discussed about the memory location and address. In this video lecture, we will be discussing about the memory operation, instruction and instruction sequencing. Let us first discuss about what is a memory. Memory is nothing but of collection of cells capable of storing binary information. It contains electronic circuits for storing and retrieving information. And it is used to provide temporary or permanent storage capability. Memory is nothing but of a semiconductor device which consists of arrays of elements that are generally latches, capacitors or MOSFETs. So the diagram which is being shown here is nothing but of a 64 cell memory array organized in three different ways. So I have shown a 64 cell memory array organized in three different ways here. Okay. Well, the first thing is nothing but of a 8 cross 8 array and next is of 16 cross 4 array and this final one is of 64 cross 1 array. Each memory location needs an address. If the memory is addressed to a cell, then one bit is being addressed. But if the memory is addressed to the byte or word, then that is the smallest amount of data that can be addressed. I have shown you here an example. So in this example, the address of blue bit is row 5, column 4. So it represents a bit per cell addressing and this figure shows the byte addressing byte or word addressing the address of blue byte in blue as row 3 which represents a byte or word or row addressing so a memory unit stores binary informations in a group of bits called words data input lines provide the information to be stored in the memory. Data output line carries the information out from the memory. The control lines read and write specify, specific, specifies the direction of the transfer of data. Basically, in the memory organization, there are 2 to the power L memory location indexing from 0 to 2 to the power L minus 1 where this L is the address bus. We can describe the memory in terms of bytes using the formula N is equal to 2 to the power L bytes, where L is the total address bus and N is the memory in bytes. Let us have a review on these two things. One is nothing but of memory address register and other is of memory data register. We have discussed this while we are discussing about the memory address and as well as the basic function of a computer i will give a short review on these two things again so memory address register is the address register which is used to store the address of the memory location where the operation is being performed and the memory data register is the data register which is used to store the data on which the operation is being performed I'm just giving this review in order to um, have a clear idea on the operation of memory. So the operation of memory is of two kinds. One is nothing but of memory read operation, other is of memory write operation. First, we will discuss about memory read operation. Memory read operation transfers the desired word to address line and activates the read control line so in the diagram shown here initially the memory data register contains any garbage value and the memory address register containing 2003 that is nothing but of the memory address so after the execution of read instruction the data of memory location 2003 will be read and the memory data register will get updated by the value of the memory location 2003. So initially 
the address location 2003 had a data 3k and the memory data register had a value of 3d after execution the data which is being in the location 2003 is being overwritten the memory data register so 3d is being replaced by means of 3k so let us have a close look at on the memory write operation how it uh, what are all the steps it is being involved it first places the address of location to be written on the address bus next it places the data to be written on the data bus then it activates the memory write control signal on the control bus and wait for the memory to store the data at the address location then it drops the memory write control signal to terminate the write cycle so in this example i have shown uh, the address register is holding a value of 101 uh, the binary uh, the decimal representation of 101 is of 5 so once this 101 is being carried by means of address bus the address decoder will decode it so the uh, the 5 is being selected the address 5 is being selected next data byte is being placed on the data bus the data the data byte is being placed on the data bus once the control signals are being released as soon as the control signals are being released the data bus the data bytes are being placed in the data bus and the data is being written on the selected address here in this example the selected address is of 5 now let us discuss about memory write operation memory write operation transfers the address of the desired word to the address line transfers the data bits to be stored in the memory to the data input line then it activates the write control line so in the figure shown here the memory address register contains 2003 and the memory data register contains 3d before the execution and the location 2003 holds a data 3k right so after the execution of write instruction 3d this 3d will be returned at the memory location 2003 right so let us see the steps which are all being carried out while a read operation is being happening so first it will place the address of the location to be read on the address bus next it it activates the memory read control signal on the control bus after the control signals are being activated it waits for the memory to retrieve the data from the address memory location after that re, uh, it will read the data from the data bus once the data is are being read it drops the memory read control signal to terminate the read cycle i have shown here an example so in this example the address register is holding a value of 11 since it is being holding a value of 11 that particular 11 address is being carried through address bus and the address decoder decoded and we all know that 11 so binary 11 so decimal values of 3 so address bus 3 is being selected after that it activates the memory read control signal as soon as the um, memory read control signal is being activated by means of control bus what it will do us it the content of the address 3 is being placed on the data bus the content of the address 3 here the content of address 3, 3 is 11100001 so this particular data in this example this particular data is being placed in the data bus and it is being shifted to data register so the data is being read by means of the data bus and it is being store, given to the data register once this operation is being completed 
the control signal will drop the memory read and it terminates the read cycle. So that's all with the memory operation. Let us now discuss with the register transfer notations. Register transfer notations are used to describe transfer of information from one location in the computer to another. The possible locations are memory locations, processor registers and register in the I.O. subsystem. To identify a location, symbol names standing for its hardware binary address are being given. For example, name of a memory location can be of location L, uh, as shown here LOC, place or number. Right? It can be of a variable A or whatever. The na a name of a register can be given as R0, R1 or R5 whatever. Right? Or else we can give a IO register So the content of a location denoted by place by placing a square bracket around the name determines the register transfer notation. For example, here in this example I have written here as R1 within a square bracket LOC. What it means is that it means that content of memory location LOC. LOC is nothing but of a memory location. The content of the memory location is being transferred to the processor register R1. I will make it clear now, right? You assume that R1 is holding some data. You assume that the data is of 0, 3. Okay. And location LOC, you assume that the location LOC is nothing but of address location 2003 and it is holding a data 0A, right? As soon as this instruction R1 within a square bracket LOC is being given, um, in our example, the LOC is nothing but of address location 2003. So once this instruction is being executed, what happens is that uh, 2003 is holding a data of 0A. This 0A will be oh, uh, written on the register R1. So after execution, R1 will fold 0A. Right? So the register transfer notation can happen in memory processor or I.O. register. I have given an example for memory. So in order to uh, happen it in memory, we have to write in such a way that R1 within a square bracket, uh, square bracket, we have to write the location of the memory. Suppose if it is happening in the processor, then we can um, take an example of R3, R1 plus R2. So what this statement state, what this uh, Statement state is that add the content of register R1 and R2 and the and place the result in R3. So R1, R2, R3 are nothing but of registers in the processor. R1 consists of some data, R2 consists of some data, and this instruction what it will do is it will add the content of register R1 and R2 and after adding these two contents, the, the resultant is being stored in the register R3, right? So next is of uh, using I.O. register in the register transfer notation. So data in R1, what it states is that the content of I.O. register data in are transferred into register 1. Uh, similar to that of location LOC, you assume that data in is nothing but of a port address right you assume that data in is nothing but of a port address the data which is being holded in the port address is being moved to register r1 
right so this is with the register transfer notations hope you are clear with it so next is of assembly language notation this assembly language notation is used to represent machine instruction and programs so let us see some example mu l o c comma r1 what it states is that it transfers the data from memory location l o c to register r1 right the content of l o c are unchanged by the execution of this instruction but the old content of register r1 are overwritten i will uh, explain you now you assume that the loc is nothing but of a memory location 5000 so before uh, initially the location 5000 is holding a value of 02 right and the register r1 is holding a value of 0c right once you give a instruction move loc comma r1 what it will do is the content of location loc or an or is being moved to the register so 5000 is the location 5000 is holding a data 02 after execution this 02 will be given to r1 so after execution r1 will be overwritten with the data 02 and the location 5000 is not being changed it is being unchanged it will be holding 0 to as such right also we can give add r1 comma r2 comma r3 if you give in such a manner what it will do is it will add the content of register r1 and r2 and places the sum in r3 so r1 plus r2 you will be getting a result right you will be getting a sum that sum as being written in the location r3 uh, sorry it is not a location in the register r3 let us discuss the basic instruction types a high level language program command c is equal c is equal to a plus b which adds the content of the variable a and b and store the result in c after completion the three variables a b and c are assigned distinct locations in the memory the content of these locations represents the value of the three variables the action is c c c within square bracket a plus b i have shown it in the tabular column here the instruction for operation is c a plus b right the content of a and b location are fetched from memory and transferred into the processor where the computation is being performed that is a plus b is being performed and the result is then sent back to the location c okay so this can be accomplished in three ways that is c is equal to a plus b the c is equal to a plus b operation can be accomplished in three ways by means of three different instructions three types of different instruction one is nothing but of the three address instruction other is of two address instruction we can make it by means of one address instruction also by means of zero address instruction let us discuss about one after other so the first is nothing but of three address instruction or we can call it as a single machine instruction right three address instruction or yeah single machine instruction the instruction contains memory address of three operands contains the memory address of three operands a b and c so that is add a b a comma b comma c 
a and b are nothing but of source a and b are nothing but of sources source 1 and source 2 and c is nothing but of the destination and the op code is nothing but of add so add a comma b comma c this is nothing but of a three address instruction or we can call it as a single machine instruction within a machine cycle the complete operation is being completed so what this instruction will do it will add the content of memory location a and b then it plays the result into the location c right so next we can accomplish the same operation by means of two address instruction so in two address instruction we will be having an op code followed by means of source and destination right so the example for two address instruction is add a comma b for the chosen operation right so add the content of memory location a and b then place the result into location b so a plus b, b will happen and the result is being stored in the b register b location itself right so operand b is both a source as well as a destination here so this is nothing but of source as well as destination next we will see about accomplishing c is equal to a plus b using one address instruction even two address instruction will not fit into one single word of memory using of one address instruction here we will be using second operand whenever required it present in a unique location right so example for one address is load a add b store c so load a what it will do us it will copy the content of memory location a into accumulator then it will add the content of memory location b to the accumulator then the result is being stored in c so this is nothing but of one address so coming to the zero address here what we will be doing is that we will push we will be making use of the instruction push what this push instruction will do is the location of the operand are defined implicitly that is the operands are stored in the push down stack so push a means the location of address a is being pushed to the stack then push b uh, sorry uh, push a what it will do is it will push the content to the accumulator then add b location of b will be added with the accumulator content then push c if you put as push c it will push it to the location c right this is of zero address so we can accomplish the c is equal to a plus b using one address instruction by means of general purpose registers also if you are using general purpose register what you will be doing is that you will be making use of load a comma r i load a comma r i means the register content r i will be moved to the location a then store R I comma A. The content of A is being stored in A register. We can make use of this instructions. Let us. We can use move A comma R I, which is similar to that of the load instruction. load a comma which is similar to that of load a comma r i more similar to that of load a comma r i these are of similar and more r comma a is similar to that of more r comma r i comma a is similar to that of the store okay by means of making use of this instruction instead of load sorry instead of move 
and we can perform this a plus b c is equal to a plus b by means of using the registers general purpose registers too so as i in, now we will discuss about the instruction execution as instructions are a part of program which are stored inside the memory so every time the processor requires to execute an instruction for that the processor first fetches the instruction from the memory then decodes the instruction and then executes the instruction the whole process is known as instruction cycle instruction execution needs the following steps which are the program counter register of the processor gives the address of instruction which need to be fetched from the memory if the instruction is fetched then the instruction opcode is decoded on decoding the processor identifies the number of operands on decoding the processor identifies the number of operands if there is any operand to be fetched from the memory then the operand address is calculated operands are fetched from the memory if there is more than one operand then the operand fetching process may be repeated after this the data operation is performed on the operand and the result is generated if the res result has to be stored in a register the instruction ends here if the destination is memory then first the destination ha address has to be calculated then the result is stored in the memory if there are multiple results which need to be stored inside the memory then this process may repeat now the current instruction may be executed side by side the pc is incremented to calculate the address of the next instruction let us now discuss about the straight line sequencing straight line sequencing means the instruction of a program is executed in a sequential manner that is every time pc is incremented by a fixed offset and no branch address is loaded on the pc for example here i have shown a example the program and data are stored in the same memory in the example that is the architecture is of one human architecture right so first instruction of a program is stored at the address i pc gives address i and instruction stored at the address i is being fetched from the memory and then decoded and then operand a is fetched from the memory and stored in the temporary register and then the instruction is executed that is the content of address a is copied into the processor register r not side by side during decoding or execution the pc get incremented by 4 that is the content of uh, that is it contains the address of next instruction because the instruction and memory segment is of 4 bytes so the instruction at address i is executed so every time the pc is incremented by 4 therefore the program is executing a in a sequential manner and this process is called straight line sequencing i will repeat it first the instruction of a program is stored at address i pc gives address i and the instruction stored at the address i is fetched from the memory and then decoded and then operand a is fetched from memory and stored in a temporary register then the instruction is executed that is the content of address a is copied into the register r not side by side during decoding or execution the program counter gets incremented by 4 that is it contains the address of next instruction because the instruction and memory segment is of 4 bytes 
clear with that the instruction and memory segment is of 4 bytes so the program counter is incremented 4 times right so every time the program counter is incremented by 4 therefore the program is executing in a sequential manner and this process is called straight line sequencing let us see one more example for straight line sequencing program for adding n numbers the address of memory location containing the n numbers are placed uh, are represented as number 1 number 2 number 3 right the first number is stored into processor register r not and every other number is added to register r not finally when the program ends that is n numbers are added the result is placed in the memory location sum okay the second way is to use a loop to add n numbers but here straight line sequencing is not used because every time loop iteration ends pc has to load the branch address and program execution starts from that particular address so as i have told that straight line in straight line sequencing one after the other the instructions are being executed but here I, uh, since we are introducing loop what happens the straight lining sequence is not being used every time loop iteration ends pc has to load the branch address and program execution starts from that particular address here the location n stores the value of the array addition right and the processor register r1 is used as a counter to determine the number of times the loop gets executed the content of location n are moved to r1 at the starting of program execution after that register r0 is being cleared the address loop is being reloaded again and again until r1 becomes zero right so until r1 becomes zero until r1 becomes zero this means all the numbers are added every time number is being added every time the number is being added then the value of r1 is decremented so for one addition so for first addition r1 is being decremented once right it is being decremented once so once when r1 becomes zero we come out of the loop and the result will be stored in the location sum it is being stored in the memory location sum so that's all with the memory operation instruction and instruction sequencing see you all in the next video until then revise the topics what we have discussed thank you